All right, we've got similar figures, direct scale, level two problems here. We'll do a few examples so that you know what you need to do. Um, in this first one, it says quadrilateral KLMN is similar to quadrilateral OPQR. Find the measure of the side OP figures are not drawn to scale. So I know that I need to find this side right here because this is OP. Um, and I know that because the one on the left is smaller and the one on the right is larger and the missing pieces on the right side, we're going from left to right. And we need to find that scale factor to see what we're multiplying by. So I'm going to look at side KN and compare it to side uh, OR over here because they are corresponding sides. And I know that when I take 6 times 5, I get to 30. So that means that my scale factor is 5. So I'm going to use that same scale factor, and I'm going to take 11.6 times 5 to get me that side OP that I need there. And that's going to be um, the answer that we're looking for. So when I do that, I get 58. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and see if we're good to go. And it looks like we're good. Okay, one thing to note on this set right here, they do want you to round to the nearest tenth. It does not say that, uh, but it will count it wrong if you have an answer with the hundredth. So make sure you round it to the nearest tenth. Um, here's another example. Quadrilateral GHIJ is similar to quadrilateral KLMN. Find the measure of side NK. Figures are not drawn to scale. So again, I'm going to start by identifying the side that I need. I need NK. NK is right here. Uh, the one on the left is smaller, the one on the right is larger, so I know I'm going from here to here, and I'm multiplying by some number. The number has to be larger than 1 because the numbers are increasing. Um, so I see over here JI was 3 and NM was 7.2. So in order to figure out my scale factors, I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to take 7.2, and I'm going to divide it by 3, and that's going to give me a scale factor of 2... 0.4. So now I'm going to take 6 times 2.4 to get my side NK that I need. So I have 6 times 2.4 and I end up getting 14.4. So we'll type that in here. Again, everything needs to go to the nearest tenth in order for them to be counted correct. All right, we'll do one more. We go triangle K, or sorry, triangle FGH is similar to triangle IJK. Find the measure of IJ. The figures are not similar. So IJ is over here. Um, this time I noticed that the missing one is on the smaller one. So I'm going from here to here. I'm finding the number that I need to multiply by. On this one, my scale factor is going to have to be less than 1 because it is getting smaller. So I know that my answer over here for scale factor should be less than 1. So I need 39 times a number equals 13. I'm going to work backwards and take 13 divided by 39. And that gives me an answer of one-third, or 0.3 repeated. So I'm going to take 55.2 times one-third. And that should give us our answer here. So I have one-third times 55.2. And I get on my calculator, it says... 18.39999. Um, I know from just doing some of these problems earlier, it does want me to round to the nearest tenth. So if I have 18.39, that means that this 9 is going to make the 3 go up to a 4. So I should be typing in 18.4 for my answer here. So we got 18.4. And we should be good to go there. So again, make sure you're rounding your answers to the nearest tenth.